Hello, I'm Matthew Holmes, I'm the director and co-writer of Territorial, and I thought I would give you all a bit of an insight into um, the process of storyboarding, which is what I'm going through right now. Now, the process of storyboarding is planning the movie before you actually go out and film it. Some directors prefer to work with storyboards um, very, very strictly, others prefer to work with them pretty loosely. Uh, personally, I, I like to follow them pretty close, so uh, I've been storyboarding the movie meticulously, so essentially every single scene uh, and every single shot in the entire movie I have drawn out and planned before I go out and film it. So I have um, an extremely solid plan of what I want to get. I think the process of storyboarding is, is different for uh, every individual director. They all have their own way of, of doing it and approaching it. My approach is to do it the old-fashioned way with a piece of paper and a pencil. And I'm going to take you through this entire process uh, beginning to end to show you uh, what is involved um, in storyboarding the entire film of Territorial. Okay, what you're looking at here is the entire movie laid out in, in scenes. Every square represents one scene. Um, but all in all, there's 160 scenes in the movie, uh, and I had to storyboard each and every one of them. The first part of it is thinking about the scene and how I want to approach it. So I have to visualise in my head intricately everything about that scene. Uh, usually what I do is I start roughing out the storyboard uh, with simple line drawings, really quick. Um, and then once I'm happy with how that plays out, and I'm happy with the number of shots I would need for that scene, I then start the inking process, uh, which is going in and taking those uh, very quick drawings and applying all the detail. Um, I try to put a lot of attention into the expression on the character's face, because the expression in that storyboard of that character's face is, is part of telling the story. Uh, to the people who are eventually going to read this storyboard and go out and help me film it. I try to be very meticulous in framing. I find that some of the best films have exquisite framing, interesting framing. I usually try to put as much detail into the backgrounds as possible so you really get a sense of environment uh, and depth and distance. Uh, so I try using a lot of shading to help the cinematographer know what kind of mood I'm trying to get. So after inking the storyboard, I then take it into the computer and I scan each page. I then go into Photoshop and I crop the picture and I do a little bit of enhancement on it and then I've created the final still storyboard. And then that gets laid into uh, almost like a, a comic book strip and under each picture there's another box in which I can write all of my notes. You know, who is this shot of? What are they saying? What kind of lenses are we using? Because all these things you can't tell from a picture. I personally find that um, storyboards are a really good way of, of, of directing the movie before you get out and direct the movie. You actually get the entire movie planned out in your head. By the end of this storyboard process I probably would have drawn about 5,000 drawings and as I'm doing this process I'm actually finding that the storyboard takes longer than actually going out and filming the scene. To actually design and draw the scene takes longer than going out and filming it. So I hope that gives you a bit of a, an insight into the storyboarding process and what is involved. Um, it's often something that's a little bit unknown, and I hope this has shed some light on it. And yeah, I better get back to it. I've still got half the movie to go.